the month of February can be a little challenging around here. That was the understatement of the century five years ago when February 2015 became Buffalo's coldest month on record. We're reliving it in this week's Heather's Weather Wise. Winter 2014-2015 started off with a bang thanks to Snowvember, but after that, there really wasn't anything special. December was a little warmer than normal, January a little colder than normal, and by the time we got to the end of January, we were a little bit below average as far as snowfall is concerned, with about 56 inches. Then the calendar flipped to February. Not a single day made it above 32 degrees. There were 10 days where the high temperature never rose above the average low temperature. The whole month averaged to just 10.9 degrees. A whopping 46.2 inches of snow fell, making it the third snowiest February on record. All but one day had at least 10 inches of snow on the ground. So what factors came together to make February 2015 as bad as it was? Well, for starters, that winter was a weak El Nino season, meaning there was unusually warm water on the surface of the East Pacific Ocean. That tends to translate to persistent warm air up in the Gulf of Alaska and in parts of Western Canada. To balance things out, the jet stream usually takes a big dip right over the Eastern US, allowing for rounds of Arctic cold to pour in, much of which we saw during that season because this persistent warm air just would not back down. The X factor was a weakening of the winds around the polar vortex that allowed a little extra cold air to move into the interior Northeast and Great Lakes. By February 28th, 60% of the continental US was snow covered. Only Florida was completely snow free. 23 states recorded a top 10 coldest February. The Great Lakes were over 88% ice covered, the fourth most ice cover in history. By comparison, March of 2015 was a little kinder to us. It was a little bit colder than average, but all of the snow had melted by the end of the month and Lake Erie was ice free by April 15th. And of course, summer was just lovely. That's going to do it for this week's Heather's Weather Wise. I'll see you next week with a new topic, but until then, remember it's good to be a geek.